Did you know people had air conditioning over 2,000 years ago? But here's the crazy part. It worked without electricity, without fans, and without moving parts. That's right. Long before modern HVAC systems, ancient civilizations found clever ways to keep cool, especially in some of the world's hottest regions. Today, we're diving into the mind-blowing world of ancient air conditioning and how it could actually inspire the future of sustainable architecture. One of the most brilliant examples comes from ancient Persia in what is now modern-day Iran. In desert cities like Yazd, where summer temperatures soar past 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius, Persian architects developed a structure known as a wind catcher, or badjir. These were tall towers built on top of homes, mosques, and even palaces. Their purpose? To catch the wind, funnel it down into the building, and circulate it through the rooms, cooling the interior naturally. And the best part? This wasn't just moving hot air around. It was real cooling. Some wind catchers were paired with underground water channels, called kanats. As the wind passed over the cool water, it would chill the air even further before distributing it indoors, like a natural swamp cooler. What makes this so incredible is the engineering precision. These structures had to be carefully oriented to catch prevailing winds. They also used differences in air pressure and temperature, passive thermodynamics, to push hot air up and out while drawing cooler air in. Some designs even included multiple towers, so if the wind changed direction, one could intake and the other could exhaust, maintaining a constant breeze. And remember, this was all done without electricity, without automation, and over 2,000 years ago. That's architectural genius. So why does this matter today? With climate change, rising energy costs, and the need for sustainable solutions, ancient passive cooling systems like wind catchers are getting a second look. Modern architects are now reintroducing these principles in eco-friendly buildings, using airflow design, thermal mass, and ventilation systems that take cues directly from ancient Persian innovations. In fact, some new homes and public buildings in hot climates are being designed with wind catcher inspired features to reduce air conditioning costs and carbon footprint. So next time you blast the AC, just remember, 2000 years ago, ancient engineers were already solving the same problem using nothing but stone, wind, and brain power. If you enjoyed this peek into ancient innovation, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment. Would you live in a modern home inspired by ancient engineering? Thanks for watching and stay cool the old school way.